a lot of people, when they look at pictures of Florida beaches, they just expect empty white sand and beautiful blue water. And while those things are definitely components of the beach, the beach is a living system and part of that is rack. And rack is the collection of seaweed and grasses and all kinds of treasures that are deposited at the high tide line on the beach. Um, rack, as a result, is an important part of that habitat. It gets used by baby birds. They hunker down and camouflage in it. They'll also forage in it. They'll pick through it to find food, things like amphipods and insects that they can eat. And also, um, rack actually forms the basis for dunes. So when sand dunes are getting started, sand blows along the beach and collects along the windward side of that rack and starts to accumulate, forming the dunes that you eventually see with sea oats growing on top of them. For a lot of people that live in Florida, the rack is one of the best parts of the beach, especially for kids. It's like one big Easter egg hunt, you know, digging through the rack and looking for all kinds of treasures from crabs and amphipods to bits of shells and coral and sponges. I know today they've found some egg cases from whelks, which are the conch-like shells that you find at the beach. And I think you've seen that, honestly, the exploration that they have is one of the best parts of their experience at the beach today. When they go to school on Monday, Day and their teacher asks them what they did this weekend, they're not going to be talking about an expanse of white sand. They're going to be talking about the hermit crabs and the other things that they found while they were exploring. That's why people go to natural beaches like state parks and national seashores. There's an attraction for beaches in their natural condition. A lot of other beaches use heavy machinery to remove their rack, leaving sterile white sand that's poorer habitat for wildlife. Look for beaches that are natural, that are healthy. There's a lot more for your kids to do at those beaches, and those beaches are better for everybody, better for people and better for wildlife. And it's not dirty. You know, it's been in the water, it's clean, it's got all kinds of interesting stuff in it. And just ask a kid. I mean, in many ways, we need to have them educate the adults. I stepped on a hermit.